But now this new thing called a qubit's coming along. And the qubit has both possibilities at the same time. So if you have 64 bits and you take all the possible values of those 64 bits, you've got the same number of possibilities as the grains of rice we talked about. It's 2 to the 64. It's a very big number. It's it's 18 quintillion, right, is the number. There's a game called No Man's Sky. I don't know if you ever played it. No. So it was it became famous because there were it was one of the first games to have an almost infinite number of planets. That you oh, is this before. the game where it just creates a universe? Yeah, yeah it just, have, it it's does, kind of boring, I heard. Yeah, it was kind of boring at first. I mean, I haven't played it in a while. I just kind of looked at it. But it procedurally generates everything for you. Because there's no way a, a team of, like I was in the video game industry, right? There's no way a team could create 18 quintillion worlds. And it turns out that's exactly the number of worlds they have in that game. Because that is, what, 64 bits. That's the biggest number you can get uh, if you use 64 bits, right? Right. Okay, so come back to exponent. That's exponential growth. It's okay. just too big. And so with a, with a quantum computer, theoretically, and these are pretty new right now, right? Amazon has one. Microsoft has one. IBM has one that you can actually program online. Google has their own. Everyone's trying to figure out how to make these qubits stable and work. But the basic idea, and I, I, I don't know what number we're up to. For a while, it was like you could only have four bits qubits. Kind of like going back to the old... You know, when we were young, the you know the the Apple II or whatever came out, and uh, before that, there were these you know small eight-bit processor-based uh, kits that people would assemble, and they just couldn't have a lot of data because they just didn't couldn't keep track of that many bits, and that's where quantum computers are today. But the idea is, if you can have 64 qubits, you can instantaneously solve a problem that is exponential because you can explore all of those at the same time and then when you measure the result 